Hello and welcome to this video. We're taking a look here at the multicharts.net, the starter edition. So that means that you can actually download this multicharts starter edition here absolutely free uh, from their website if you wanted to. And so we're going to talk about a feature within multicharts.net called data playback. And what the data playback feature does is it allows you to jump back to a specific instance in time here, a certain bar, and then replay it from that, that point. Uh, so you can absolutely do that in several different ways um, using several different methods here within the data playback. And what I mean by that is you can play it back tick by tick, minute by minute, or at whatever interval your chart uh, happens to be at. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I have the data playback already set up. It should show up by default within your multicharts.net starter edition instance. Uh, if we take a look at the bottom right hand corner, all of these options here are for the um, data playback option or data playback feature, I should say. So if we take a look, uh, we notice that we have just a, a uh, by default date here. You can see that goes back quite a bit there. Uh, but if we actually go, well, there is a button, uh, button here called jump, and it's called jump to bar. So if I select this, what I can do is uh, it will actually kind of show a bar right on our chart uh, with an arrow for our cursor. And so, for example, I could jump to this specific bar. And you see it actually takes us back, erases the bars that were before that, and it's just as if we were at that current bar. And you see the date populates here, so the specific date that uh, it actually um, uh, got to that bar here will show up here within the uh, drop down menu as well on our calendar. So now what happens is I can choose um, how I want to play this back. Uh, for example, I can select the play button here. So this is the pause, uh, the green uh, arrow here, pause, resume, playback. So if I select that, it's going to start playing back these bars. And so what it's actually doing in this case is it's playing back uh, from the uh, bar period. So it's going to, for every time it needs to update, it's going to update um, using the bar period. So how fast it does that depends on this slider and if you uh, click on this slider it's going to show you so right now we're playing back at one update every three seconds so every three seconds a five minute bar is plotted i can make that a little bit slower so one update every 10 seconds so every 10 seconds here it's going to print another one of those five minute bars now i can actually change that so if i wanted to change that for example what i could do is i can go to this drop down menu here the as is five minutes uh, which is currently uh, showing here i could actually choose tick by tick or minute by minute so I'm gonna choose minute by minute here so that means that this slider here is now being applied uh, to minute by minute so one update every 10 seconds would mean uh, a minute goes by here uh, as far as the data goes every 10 seconds so it will adjust the price intra bar here in this case so you'll see we just created a new bar it should update again uh, in uh, a few seconds here and it will not create a new bar but it will uh, show what the price point was at uh, during that uh, next minute here so that's just kind of one of those features we have uh, for the um, how you want to play this data back uh, so again you can adjust it you see that did change um, uh, went another minute there and we can make that a little bit faster here so for example one uh, minute every second here is going to plot so you'll see that kind of adjusting dynamically here so it almost looks like a, a normal price action would look aside from it's being sped up a little bit here now we can also make it quite a bit faster than uh, real time here so you can see these bars are printing uh, pretty fast here so this could be um, uh, useful if you wanted to test out a strategy and just have it kind of run through it you can see we can even uh, make it jump up uh, pretty fast so that's actually all the way up to current time now so again you can make that slower or faster and we can always use this jump to bar to go back to a certain period of time so if i just select that jump to bar it'll go there and then start playing back from that area now we also have a few other options here we can actually jump back uh, at certain uh, intervals so one minute backwards two minute backwards here and so on uh, if you use that drop down menu or we can even go uh, one minute backwards here uh, as a default or previous bar so i can go back uh, each bar just by selecting that option. So now that that's selected, previous bar, uh, every time I click this, it'll go back a bar. Now we can do uh, the same thing here with this. Uh, we can uh, use the drop down menu here. It's currently set uh, to next bar. So we can go to the next bar if we wanted to and just do it that way. Now the bar or the button next to that is actually gonna terminate playback and go to real time. So what that means is it's going to go ahead and get out of the uh, data playback option and then go back to real time. So we can go back to the current bar, see what everything looks like currently and uh, not worry about that data playback. But again, it's, it's just an easy setup here. You just jump to the bar you wanna go back to 
and then start playing back. Again, you can use those uh, various different options for the speed and the uh, interval at which you want to play back, uh, but it uh, couldn't be easier here within multicharts.net, the starter edition. Again, absolutely free if you want to uh, download and play around with it and get used to this data playback uh, option. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to let us know by visiting our website or giving us a call.